Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble this. Um, these are lollipop holders, and they're so much fun. So anyway, before we get started, though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate, truly appreciate all the support that I can get. Okay, so I am absolutely in love with these lollipop holders. You've seen me do a few of them. They're all here. Um, I love them because the whole image stays intact. So a lot of the lollipop holders that we see, um, first of all, the stick is down here, so you can't have them standing up like this, which I think is so cute if you have, you know, like 20 of them on your party decoration table, like your dessert table. Um, so they are super cute. You don't have to cut, slice anything out. It's the full image, and it's just so much fun because they're just the right size. They're about, you know, three and a half inches high, so you get your fun pieces. They're not like teeny tiny but uh, they're still just so stinking adorable. All right, so the design space portion is already up, so you can um, check that out. Oops, this one fell out, oh my gosh. Um, well, to avoid something like that, and I think it was just the angle that I picked it up, because normally they just stay in, because we tie it up here, and there's this piece holding it kind of together. You could always put like a little um, double-sided piece of tape here, and it could stay here and it would definitely stay in place. But you, I mean, gosh, that was like the first time. Of course it had to happen. <laughs> well, I'm recording nonetheless. Okay, so we're doing this little guy and I just think she's so stinking cute. I did use white glitter cardstock. Um, we are using some foamies just in so that the hat sticks up and the scarf stands out. Um, and then of course I added a little pom pom. It's so stinking cute. All right, so here we go. We're going to basically just assemble it first, put all your pieces on. Um, I am using Burley Art Glue, and I wanna show you, because I think this is a good way to see it on black, um, how thin and easy it is to apply this. And even thinner you can do here. Now, if we were doing something where, let's say you're a little bit worried about how much is gonna show, it does dry clear, but the other thing that I like to do is, if you have too much, which I don't have in this case, I'm going on white glitter, it's not even, it does dry clear, but still sometimes you can see just a little bit, you can always just dab it there and then put it on. Um, there is enough glue and it will stay down and stay glued. The other tip that I have though is when you have your glue, you wanna just make sure that we're um, pressing it down so that the glue has the two surfaces to attach to. So as long as you press down, you're gonna be good to go. And you saw I dip, I kinda of got some of it off here. Um, okay, so let's continue. I'm gonna put, uh, let's do the eyes. So these are really small, oops. I had already put foam tape, the foam squares down, the cubies, because I realized I put it on backwards um, on another piece, so. So you can see I'm just dabbing. Oh gosh, you can really see it. Okay. So cute, and like for this design in particular, I'm, I'm so ready for Christmas, and do you like how my sweater matches like <laughs> so um I think these pieces are big enough that if you wanted to cut a bunch of them and do like a holiday craft with kids I think this is super super cute um all right so earlier I put down I think I put this down backwards yeah it's supposed to be like this so the wider part is up on top and I'll show you what I mean so I had the the thinner part up which I'm just gonna do it like this this time. <laughs> but not a big deal. It's so cute that it doesn't matter. And you can see I got a little bit of glue right there. I'm just gonna take my finger and dab it off. You don't wanna rub it, just touch it down, get rid of the excess and that's it. Okay, so here is the hat. Um, I'm gonna put, like I said, I'm gonna put some cubies. I absolutely love the cubies from Barely Art. I mean, I'm also using their glue. Um, they're super, super sticky. 
That's why I like them. And I like that they come in different sizes. So, all right, I'm gonna peel this off. Let's put it here. And uh, I guess we'll put one here. We'll put two. Okay, with any sort of adhesives, you want to put a lot of pressure down. You want it to, like I said, all your sticky surfaces, whether it's glue or this, you want it to anchor itself, grab hold of something and settle down. So I'm gonna put this in and then make sure that it's down. I love that. Uh, did I do this wrong? I did do it wrong. Like what is, why does this look so weird? I forgot to put the white piece down. <laughs> All right, so here we go. White piece down first, my goodness. Like, that doesn't look right. That's why. All right, this one's gonna have double foam, I think. Did I not do it on the last one? I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's why it seems so weird. Like, I don't remember the foam, the cubies being so close to each other because I didn't do it on the first one. Okay, but that's okay. All right, let's put this on. And we're gonna put this on. There we go. That's really gonna pop out. Oh my gosh, so cute, right? And then I bought one of these like little foam, like a uh, little pom pom balls on Amazon. Aren't they cute? So I'm gonna put it on there. I am using a hot glue gun for that one though, just because it's um not paper, and I want to make sure it really sticks. Okay, so we've got that down. Let's put the scarf down. Is the scarf on this one? Yep. Scarf down and then the little feet. So cute, right? And then could you imagine for Christmas if you had a bunch of these like on your, um, I don't know, what would you put it on? Like a credenza type thing or like a coffee table? Um, and you had this scarf in different colors, so cute. <laughs> or pattern. I was thinking about putting little tassels down. I don't know, I'm gonna work on that. Um, all right, so we have one side done. It's Flip it over and we're gonna do the opposite on this one. So um, when you're in design space, you just duplicate everything and then you flip it. So when you flip it, you'll have the mirror image and it'll be perfect. Okay. And again, see how like it wants to pop up? It just needs a couple seconds. So hold it down, make sure that um, the glue is anchoring to both the top and the bottom, and then it's gonna be fine. Because if you look on this one, there's no like, um, what do you call it? When the paper warps <laughs> and curls. So you can see it's flat on there. The glue is great. I've definitely had it where my paper has warped before, and it's the worst when you do it overnight because, you know, it's the last project that, oh my gosh, I'm like talking and crafting sometimes doesn't work well for me. <laughs> um, I've definitely done it where it's the last thing that I do before I go to bed, and then uh, I left it, thought my project was done, all good, I went to sleep, woke up the next morning, and my whole project had curled on itself, like just totally warped. The paper like kind of like went up like this. It was awful. So it's important to have the right kind of glue. And sometimes you think it's not a big deal. And yeah, there's gonna be times when it doesn't matter so much. Like when you're doing glitter on glitter, the paper is still hard. It, it would be difficult for it to warp, but um, I like just knowing that it's always good. <laughs> so, all right, let's put this one on. And this file, in case you haven't watched the design space tutorial, this file is free on the Barely Art website. 
So as well as um, this, uh, this one and this one, the Boba and the Ghost, they are all free files on um, Barely Arts webpage. So all right. And sometimes for this, if you feel like you can't, you know, you, I mean, you can see I just put that little dot on there. You can always do this, dab it down, and then put it down here. That's for thinner pieces. I feel like this one was totally fine. I was able to do it, no problem. There is a front side and a back side. My eyes are so bad right now. All right, I'm taking a guess. This file is so cute, no one's gonna notice. Um, okay, so. We're almost done. Oops. There we go. Um, scarf. Nope. Other side. Okay, I'm gonna put the phone the cubies. And you can see when I peel it off, um, the QB itself stays put. It's really sticky. Um, it's, I love it. Okay. Whoa, what in the world? Am I not doing this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, what was that? <laughs> okay, so there's that. Got the two little feet and then we're putting the lollipop in and then we're done but it's so cute right like i said i think kids can definitely do this i um i think they would really enjoy it okay now on this one, I am using a ruler to, to um, bend it because of the feet. So I wanna make sure, I'm gonna put it right here. I don't want the feet to get messed up, so I'm folding it right here. These didn't matter because there was an edge to it. It was the end of the boba drink, right? Same thing with the ghost, it was at the tip. This one, oh, and this one, see it's flat right there. So I would just fold it, not a big deal. But this one, I don't want to ruin the feet at all. So um, I'm just putting this down and then, so that way I have the crease in the right place. Okay, so now I'm gonna bend it this way and we're all good. All right, um, I am using, oh, here it is. I'm using embroidery floss. I do like it. Um, it holds its, not swell so let's cut this off on this one i would always cut something longer rather than short because you can always trim it afterwards so let's put our string in oh my gosh i like somehow managed to bend this and it's not going straight through, even though it's pretty thick. <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got one side down. Let's do the other side, and this side was easier. There we go. I've got it all the way through, and I'm going to stick, That's this is the other thing that I love about this file, is that you can have any size lollipop. So we did the round one here, and I'm gonna do the C's candy one. It doesn't matter, it's gonna work. So I'm gonna put the stick in between the string, Then tie it. And you can put a bow or not. I'm going to try. 
So tie your bow first. It's gonna look ridiculous because the the two bows are so big. And then once you have it, then hold it like at the center where the knot is and we'll readjust the bows and make sure that it's a good tight knot. So I just hold it right here so it doesn't unravel itself and there's still good pressure. And then there you have it. I'm gonna pull this one down a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm gonna trim the ends because it's too long. I mean, seriously, how cute is that? <laughs> so, all right, I hope that was helpful and fun. And I don't know, we'll have to find more files. I think this is so cute. I would love to do, I took a picture earlier of the three of these because they're all from Barely Art and they're just so, so cute. All right, see you guys later. Bye.